Now, let us talk about the comparison of different systems in palletized storage. We talked about the pallet life storage. We talked about the manual systems for pallet storage. We talked about the automated systems for pallet storage. Normally or typically, the pallet would be with a base of 1000 millimeters by 1200 millimeters. That is the normal size of a typical pallet. Based on this, let us compare different systems in terms of utilization of the floor space. So let us look at it in detail. So for a typical pallet size which we have discussed right now, storage type of block stick with four deeps, let's say there was single deep, double deep, it can be like four deep as well. So assumed height would be three pallets. That is why it would be known as four deep storage. Yep, four deep block stack. The floor utilization is 62%. And the pallet space per square meter is 1.5. Just keep it in mind that we need at least six times of a space moving around the pallet. So the floor utilization, or in any case, if you take the minimum requirement, it would be the three times of the pallet space. So the floor utilization in this case would be 62%. Then there were reach trucks, which were for the narrower aisles. The assumed height of APR would be five pallets. And the floor utilization was just 36%. Although the pallet would take the same space. So handling for handling here, or for the maneuvering of the reach trucks, we need more space. Then there was double deep stack. Double deep requires assumed height would be of five pallets at most. For the floor utilization was 47%. And the pallet space is even more. Why it is higher? Because you are going for double deep stacks. For narrow aisles, the assumed height would be of seven pallets. That means in a narrower aisles, we will stack up to seven pallets. Whereas in reach truck, we could actually go for five pallets. But the floor utilization would still be 44%. We need more space for material handling and maneuvering. And the pallet space actually would be much higher, which is 2.6 here. For automated storage and retrieval systems, even for a single deep, the assumed height, because it is used in high bay warehouses, so 10 pallets could be stacked. But floor utilization would be 48%. You still need more space for maneuvering and movement of those automated systems or cranes. And the pallet space would be much higher. That is the space. This is not the physical space of the pallet, but the space around it as well. So it would be four per square meter. Then let us actually include the location utilization factor into it to get more insights into the storage types. So we know what was the storage type and the pallet space per square meter. If we include the location's utilization factor, that is the movement around that pallet, how would you actually store there? How would you actually unload it? How would you actually take it back? In block stake, the utilization factor is 70%, which is quite high. But for APR, for reach trucks, the location utilization is 95%. That means only 5% of the space would be there for the extra moments. 
so location utilization is much high similarly for automated storage and retrieval systems the location utilization factor is also 95 percent as well as for the narrower aisles that means you make use of the most of the space in narrower aisles in by using automated systems or by using reach trucks also the pallet per square meter for during the material handling would be are also given but the main insight here would be about the location utilization factors students there are also other factors which should be included in other than the material handling equipment types there were different research researches in which uh, different ratings were taken in order to know what is important for different type of pallet storage techniques and pallet storage tools but those were like more subjective research because it was based on the rating subjective ratings so still the most plausible and objective factor that need that we need we need to actually look at is the location utilization factor we need to look at it in terms of better utilization of space in terms of using what type of storage thank you